in the beginning when you're getting like we were getting the most i've ever gotten is like let's say 1500 leads 1500 signups in a month that's kind of the peak um we're, we're less than that now not because we couldn't handle it but because i just we just don't need it there's enough people on the site there's enough people coming back that i can nurture that actually engage with us that i don't need to spend too much more money on new leads per month so i'd say the first one was the reality that I can't call every person that comes on the site and I can't call every person that signs up. It just becomes, it's compounds. If you're getting five or 10 or 20 new leads per day, you might be able to keep that up for a day or a week or a month, but then you're compounding that every single day or every single month. So what I started to implement, one of the first things was a voicemail drop. So when on, on Shine with the AI assistant, which has been great for, for the comp or great for our company, I let the AI touch it initially for the qualifying process in about four or five days. I don't do any voicemail drops. I don't call, I don't do anything. I let them just text the lead and just let them see if they can engage. If they do contact them, then that will trigger other things as far as automation. If the AI adds a, a tag called AI no response, meaning in that five day qualification process, they didn't respond, that mm -hmm. triggers a smart plan, which is a voicemail from me that says, oh, hey, Tristan, my assistant's been trying to get a hold of you, uh, Anna, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, she's got a couple lists of properties that she, she wants to send your way. She's just not sure what region you're looking in. So just let her know where you're looking and then we can go ahead and send you that list. And what that does is that encourages them not even to call me back because I don't want thousands of people calling me back that aren't super serious. What it does is it encourages them to reply to the unresponded uh, AI assistant. And if they do, that will notify me and then they will update the property alert automatically as long as what they said makes sense. So it, it scales really, really well. So that's probably the first one is a voicemail drop from me that is standardized to the point where I don't mention the client's name so they don't know that it's one that goes out to every person, but it goes out regardless of me having to do it manually, which is super powerful, particularly if you're getting lots of lead volume too, right? Yeah. So that's probably the first right. one. So question then, if, if we don't have, and I don't see how anybody wouldn't, but if we don't have the voicemail drop capabilities, mm -hmm. right, we can easily add that. Most CRMs have it. And I think Sly Broadcast can do it too. That's, what, a lot that's of what I use, yeah. That's what that's you what use, I awesome. Use. Yeah. If, if we don't have that, and if we don't have AI, yeah, Daniel, call action can do that too. Thank you, you are so right. Yeah. Um, if we don't have that, and we don't have artificial intelligence reaching out, mm -hmm. what would you do? Like, would you be the one calling or would you hire someone to make those calls and, and filter those through to you? How would that work? Um, it all depends on the agent's production. If you're in, if you're in production and you can convert at a pretty high level, then you'll probably have some funds to get a, a, an ISA going. Um, yeah, it really depends. You know, it depends on what you what you like to do. If you don't like picking up the phone and calling for two or three hours a day, then the ISA role is definitely not for you. That's kind of like the basics. Like my goal as an ISA, as well as any ISA that I would hire, would be t minimum ten conversations a day. And a conversation isn't, um, you know, you talk to somebody on the phone, a conversation is five plus minutes as far as a logged call or a text or email volley that's back and forth on multiple times. So um, that's how we, that's what we basically counter define that conversation as. And if you're doing that day in, day out, some days you'll get more traction than others, but if you're doing that day in, day out at an average conversion, you're gonna do business. You just have to keep working.